Hello and welcome back to Heroes of Might and Magic 3. This is our Skeletons only playthrough with Vitamina. We've started to build up some decent stats on Vitamina at this stage uh, and we've also started to build up a decent sized Skeleton stack but of course we would like more. The plan for today is really going to be to travel south along the road into the desert area and try and chase down Orange as that's where we saw them come from and hopefully build up our stack along the way by clearing out some creatures that Orange hasn't yet killed. Um, if you are enjoying the series so far as well, please do throw the video a like and subscribe for the next episodes. I do put out uh, two videos a week, maybe more going forward. So, um, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so I think if we DD across, Ranlu can get out of the way. Take out these uh, engineers on the way. Okay. Not going to worry about treasure chests and lots of enchanters. No, that's not really a fight I want to take. And skip the corner with DD. Hmm. Now, do we go underground? Or follow the road? I'm going to bank on the fact that they followed the road to get to me, but I am going to pop my head in here. Just check this out. Okay, so this has been cleared out. That's interesting. Okay, so some of it's been cleared out, but not all of it, it looks like. So we've got a throng of Scorpicors here, and we've still got a horde of Phoenixes. Hmm, they could have come from underground in that case. It's definitely possible. Sandro, let's start sending south so we can do a bit of uh, bit of scouting with him. And I guess likewise with Ranley. We can start sending Ranley up this way. So we can see uh, if this bit's been cleared out or not. No skeletons to recruit. And I guess we can come and collect some of these skeletons for me from these buildings. Tamika. Likewise, you can pick up some skeletons for me from there. And Moandor's already in place, so I think that's the end of the turn. Okay. Still not really seeing any AI, play uh, any AI players. Apparently I can't speak today, but that's okay. Oh, Griffin population doubles. Nice. Any population doubles is helpful to us, really, because we're... We're just going to get more creatures to kill. Hey, Swarm of Sorceresses. Well, they haven't cleared out some parts of this, at least. But they have cleared out others, because all of these are unguarded along here. Alright. So the orange may well have come from this direction in that case. So I, I mean, he's here to collect some skeletons, so I guess I might as well. But otherwise, not a huge amount to do with them. Ah. Well, Isra can't take a horde of griffins, so... Oh, blimey, and I can't even get into my town. Alright. Well, I guess I'm just going to be milling around for a while then. Yeah, it means I've kind of got a load of heroes that have absolutely nothing to do now. So, I guess at least Sandro and Ranlu are in useful positions. Um, Sandro, I guess I send underground and send west since I've got Vitamina going north. Oh, the taupe. In that case, might as well take a horde of phoenixes. Uh, firstly, let's... Wait, they're immune to a meteor shower? No, I don't think they are.
They're not hitting that hard considering how many phoenixes there are there, but... Either way, that was a bit early to, uh, to be using animate. I think that was the right thing to do. Oh, whoops, not resurrection. Animate dead. Okay, that's a full stack again. Wow, two parts of... Uh, two parts of the Angelic Alliance here. Okay, quick animate. Nothing particularly useful there. I will grab these pieces though, because you never know. Okay, Hall of Ghost Dragons and a throng of magic elementals. Not much commentary on these fights, I'm afraid, guys, because they're well, they're reasonably trivial fights. So I don't think there's really any need to be commenting that I'm going to animate at the end, and that's about it. I mean, I might as well kill them just because they're one square away, and I can get a load of skeletons from them, right? And I suppose it will be a really decent amount of XP here as well, thinking about it. Okay, one use of animate should get us everything back. Yep. Okay, yeah, 103 skeletons for free. One crystal dragon, which we'll, of course, immediately uh, dismiss. And then we've got a couple of bits to pick up, but double topes, I think this was probably worth it. And it still looks like the rest of the road's probably been cleared out, so let's have a little look. We'll do Vidamina's turn first instead of our scouts first, I guess, next turn. Oh, tank AXP, actually, a useful box. Okay, it'll be the same as usual. Hit the green dragons, wait for the retail on the next stack, and then animate up right at the end. Okay. Oh, Ring of Life. Is that one of the ones I don't have? No, Ring of Life is the one I already have. That's a shame. Right, okay, so let's DD back to the road. Or close to the road. Might as well take out these uh, ghost dragons on the way for XP, if nothing else. Alright. Okay, final, final, before the final hit, use my animate again. 15k XP, not bad. Huh. Seems like a weird taupe only to be guarded by... Lots of, uh, lots of bounty hunters. I mean, like, 40 tier 6s really isn't a big guard. Seems really odd. But I'm guessing that means it's a minute minimum type. No. It's pretty much a maxi type. Near enough a maxi type if it's not. Okay, so same as always. We'll go right to the end, animate up again, take the last hit. Okay, a couple of times. Necklace of Celestial Bliss, which is potentially useful. Orange may well have come from here, but I think, regardless, we're going to take Vitamina back. We're going to send her through and do what the original plan was. Sandro here can take himself off to the west and find out what we've got. If it comes to a dead end, he can always go north. Um, none of these heroes really have anything to do, except Ranlu. Uh, 
and Randu can't actually get past there, but it looks like the zone guard was cleared out. So I, I think I've, I think I've gauged this right. I think so. But there are definitely some really nice uh, skeleton packs to pick up here. I mean, we've still got a guard on this imp cache too, so there's absolutely tons of skellies to pick up here with Vitamina. So I think I made the right decision. Um, all of my other heroes, I guess, since they can't move around very much without picking up a fairly significant army from somewhere, I guess they can kind of just uh, chill where they are to a degree. So, let's just end the turn. Yep, still not seen, uh, seen any enemies. So yeah, let's just DD back down. Uh, we have fly, so we get no movement penalty, so I guess we may as well just go straight up here. Yeah, throng of mechanics. Should be able to one-shot them, yeah. Okay. Hmm, I could probably actually have accepted the loss of... Uh, a couple of a uh, couple of skeletons there. Right, so now I've waited twice. We can animate, and then I should get two turns in a row. Yep. Okay, that's twenty-nine skeletons. Worth it. pick up this box just because I'm going to run out of movement anyway and then we'll probably just go cross country across here. I've got these sorceresses up here but I don't think they're worth taking out. Or at least not detouring to take out. Alright, well, we can't go very far up here so let's, uh, let's take Sandra up north instead to explore that. And everyone except Ranlu is pretty much spent. Hmm. Dead man's boots. I definitely want those. Vampire Lord Guard as well. That should be fun. So let's uh, let's end the turn there. Ghost Dragons will be worth it for XP, but that's about it, I think, so probably actually just send myself off this way. Throng of Behemoths. Yeah, it'll be worth it for the XP, if nothing else, so let's actually just take them out. It's only a slight detour. Shao didn't hit anywhere near as hard as I thought it would. Let's see how many we get back from an animate. 366. Okay, so it's worth doing now then. Let's mess slow just so we can make sure that we uh, we get another animate in. Oh, I misremembered how many I had. Never mind. And we'll just ignore this stuff. We don't need any of it. There is another taupe here, though. Could be worth taking. then we should be able to just do one animate. That should get us everything back and we can hit the XI. Lovely. 99 skeletons. 
Oh, 50 wolf riders. That's a shame. I'd rather be fighting them. Okay, and same as every time. We're going to hit the green dragons, wait for the retail so we kill them there, and then finish them off on the red dragons here. Okay. Oh, dead man's boots. Fair enough. I've already got some. Swarm of Ogre Magi. I mean, also worth it just for the XP, if nothing else, and the, the skeletons. I guess we just defend, allow ourselves to be hit so we kill one with the retail and then we can res up and kill the others. Perfect. Okay, 148 skeletons. Throng of sandworms. Okay, could be worth taking just for the XP if nothing else. If I move to here, then one of them will hit me. And again, if I just defend, then I should get one retail. Yep, and then I can just res up the rest of these. Perfect. Okay, so a couple more bits to clear out, and then I'll push north. Although, could be quite a bit more here still. Waterform Demon's not worth it. And must remember to actually equip my uh, my boots. Before the next one. Um, Ranlu, maybe I'll just send underground as well, actually, thinking about it. Alright, so a lot of this has been cleared out. That's good news. We might well be on our way to uh, to find somebody, an opponent here. Hopefully they'll reveal, reveal themselves and at some point we'll see Orange. Oh, yeah, that was somebody. That was actually Orange. Turns out I'm, uh, I'm a prophet of some kind or something. Okay, and there's Pink. We are actually finally seeing some more. That's nice. Mm, several. Not really worth taking. Horde, Horde. I mean, Equestrian's gloves there. Wrong of Hydra's, guarding two boxes. Okay, no retail, so this is going to take a few more rounds than usual. Probably would have made more sense to cast shield, actually, from a mana preservation point of view. Because we're going to need to use two animates here. I don't think that was even all of them, but that'll do. Oh, 145 still. Okay. 20k XP. And 20k XP. Okay, well, 40k XP box. That's well worth having. Horde of Stormbirds. And we'll take them because we want to go across here anyway. Sure, we'll just take that, that's fine. Well, okay. There's some units there, that's good. Hmm, there's also a magic well here, so... Maybe we send Vidamina down to go and take that castle instead. Hmm. Yeah, I think maybe we clear out uh, a couple more areas and then we go and... Or a couple more fights and then we just go back down. So how long is it going to take me to get underground from here? Probably not that long. A couple of turns at most? Yeah, probably a couple of turns at most. It's 
go and scout the rest of this bit down here. Alright, so we're at least going to be able to have a look at Orange's army next time, which is cool. Let's have a little look. Oh, it's pointless. Alright. Well, not pointless, but absolutely negligible. Throng of Psychic Elementals. Probably worth it because it's guarding an imp cache. Do need to bear manner in mind here, though. Yep, it's a good spot to be in. We have maximum two hitting us. Okay, let's res up the last last hit. Cool. Ah, I forgot to equip my uh, dead man's boots. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. Uh, swarm of Magi. Gonna need to use an awful lot of points on that, though. Pack of Titans just isn't worth taking. We'll get any skeletons out of that, really. Uh, throng of Diamond Golems. Definitely worth taking. Nope. Can't afford to do that many skeletons. Uh, I could just literally defend, not waste the points on haste actually, because it makes no real difference here. Uh, so if I just defend, yeah, that gives me the last hit. Great. Let's take out this Dwarven Treasury next turn, and then we'll probably DD here to take out the Throng of Mechanics, DD back down to take out the Swarm of Vampires, and then we'll start making our way underground so we can go and take that castle. Okay, Renly, let's just check out some of this desert. It's so weird that they've cleared out a tiny, tiny part of this, but almost nothing. Okay, doing a decent amount of exploring now. Interesting that this actually meets up with where we've already been. Maybe not quite, though. Might not actually meet up. Ooh, one second. Sorry about that. Just had a quick call to take. I'll, I'll edit, edit it out, though. Uh, I think that was the turn finished, because most of our heroes aren't doing anything. Hopefully Orange just doesn't run all the way through. Oh, no, they've just... Uh... Okay, not much of an army there, but a decent number of skeletons still. So I think it's the right decision to come back with Vitamina and take ourselves underground. I think we're probably wrong by the looks of it, as Orange, at least from the number of Necropolis heroes they've got, uh, yeah, I'll just take those losses, that's fine. At least from the number of Necropolis heroes they've got, I would guess that they were an underground starting Necropolis. Well, I don't guess they're underground by Necropolis, but I'm guessing since their heroes are still coming from underground, that these other castles that we've taken... Um, yeah, we'll just accept that because we've not got many spell points left. Hmm, this is probably a bad idea with no spell points, actually on reflection. Let's defend up after a shield, which means we should take very little losses at least. Okay, we don't have to worry about planning it out too much because there's no retail on them. Or well, they hit with no retail, I should say. Um, I mean, I've already got a pair of dead man's boots, so I don't need to pick those up, I suppose. And let's just make sure we put our movement boots back on for the start of next turn. 
Yeah, I think that's fine. So yeah, we just start moving back underground. Really foolish of me to just spend all my spell points, though. Let's go and explore some of the bits I will be able to see now I've cleared a few bits out, I suppose, with him. And Tamika. I mean, I guess Tamika can just grab some... Uh, can drop his skeletons off, even. And then send himself out. Might as well have another scout here, right? But otherwise, these guys aren't going to be doing anything. Okay, so let's end the turn there. One thing I will say about this playthrough that I'm not enjoying is uh, only really having viability to use one hero at a time. Um, since we kind of rely on Bidamina being leveled up so that we can actually use her uh, necromancy specialty to build up our stacks. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit frustrating. It's not a huge detour, actually. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, Ranlu can pick up these uh, angel wings, I suppose. Helps them move around a bit. Tamika can come and explore, so she can come down here. Great. And everyone else is kind of just chilling in my biome, so let's end the turn there. Okay, Orange is coming back up towards his underground castle we've discovered. So, hopefully we can just keep pushing towards that. keep seeing pink on the edge of these areas, but they don't seem to be clearing out a lot of the difficult fights, which is encouraging. Uh, I could take a swarm of scorpicles, but I'm going to save my mana. Okay, great. I'm going to be able to reach their next turn. Horde of Griffins we can probably take out on the way past without losing too much, I think. Okay, we're not going to really discover much here. Tamika. Is she going upstairs? Yeah, I think she is. Oof. Horde of Griffins. Again. up a little bit stuck with these uh, griffin population doubling. Oh, blue. Where's that? Uh, that's the underground that goes up to our new inferno town, I think. So, alright, we'll go and have a look if we can still see their army. It'd be nice to see what blue have got at this stage of the game. I'm hoping something strong. Because it will definitely make the game more interesting if they've got a decent army. Swap a few bits around. We'll put on a celestial necklace. We want to put on teapot hat, wherever that is. Are we already wearing it? Oh, we are. Yeah. Okay. So actually, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, oh no, we want to put on thunder helm. Oh, I have everything for Titan's thunder. Interesting. Yeah, let's not equip it. We don't need the. Uh, Titan's lightning bolt. I think our normal lightning bolt probably hits harder. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, it does. It does more than double because like Titan's lightning bolt only yet. Titan's lightning bolt only ever does um, 600 damage. Not affected by spell power. Okay, let's swap all of these back. Dead man's boots and necklace of the Undertaker. 
probably take out the uh, Time of Earth magic thinking about it, given that we learn every single spell in the game on Vitamina. Okay, so that gives us max spell points. So we can go and take out this army pretty trivially. Well, I guess Chain Lightning. That's always fun. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty certain at this point that Orange are underground with the Necropolis. I suppose I could actually just check their starting type. Which should do the same trick. Great, and then I can animate up the last units. Kill these. Ooh, vampire's cow. Nice. Let's build the stables. And yeah, being able to equip the vampire's cow will be absolutely massive. Just have to remember to do it before our actual fights. Throng of oceanids. Swarm of imps. Yeah, we could take a swarm of imps. Okay, that should be good enough. Perfect. Uh, not even worth taking the um, the building. I don't think there. So from here, I mean it'd be nice to see what's blocked off in these areas I guess, but I think I'm keener to start being able to find out where where our opponents actually are. Right, let's put on our boots of speed at the end of the turn, just to make sure we get those points next turn, the movement points. Ideally, we'd like to find uh, the other parts to the wizard well as well. That'd be really, really strong. And we also must remember to equip our vampire's cowl before a fight. Okay, so everyone else is just chilling. Not really a lot to do. Ranlu is just exploring a bit. I suppose Ranlu can actually just jump over the edge here now he's got angel wings. That's pretty cool. Hold on, were there not creatures guarding this? I guess not, unless I cleared them out and I've just forgotten that's the case. It's easily possible. Ah, we forgot to check what Blue's army was like. That's a shame. Never mind, we'll get another opportunity. Okay, not seeing much else. I was hoping we might see a bit more from Orange. Could take this imp cache, that would be quite a few skellies. Okay, no retail units, so we can just animate right at the end. Uh, that's not enough, so we need to animate twice. Yeah, that's fine. Ah, I should have remembered to put on my uh, vampire's cowl. fine. I'm going to forget to swap these out a lot. I might even not bother doing it like later on in the game. Lots of juggernauts. Yeah, definitely not worth taking. Ok, 
Okay, let's put ourselves here then. Hmm. Forsaken Palace here. That's cool. Okay. Makes me wonder if I should really just be uh, upping the speed of my chase down with Vitamina. Spell power. Uh, let's DD across the corner. Lots of hydras. Nah, not worth it. It's DD down here. We've got a taupe. Presumably taken though. Well, no. Doesn't look like it. Same as every single other taupe. Retail, then kill the green dragons, and then animate up just before we kill the last red dragons. Probably used to it by now. Ring of the Wayfarer, that's a brilliant, uh, brilliant item. In fact, I'll probably equip that permanently rather than the still eye of the dragon. I'm okay to drop 1 1. All the boxes here. Scatter and engage. Okay, one animate. And that's the rest of them done. And equestrian's boots. Perfect. Tamika can't really go anywhere from here. So he's a little bit stuck. She's a little bit stuck even. Okay, still no further sign of orange, but we might see him hopefully when we see his turn come up now. Let's see. Oh, cool. Got turquoise coming through here. Teal, even. Right, let's have a look at Teal's army. Where was he? Underground somewhere. Close to these topes. Alright, that's a decent enough army. That's quite a few skellies to kill there. Or skellies to gather, I should say. Of the Undead King. Okay. Oh, yeah, there are no retail creatures, so I don't really have to plan this at all. That's fine. So just animate right at the end. Fine, 102 skeletons. I'll just leave these. It'd be quite cool if the uh, AI actually gets some good good artifacts from this. Wait, so they didn't come through here? 
Maybe that means orange did actually come from here initially. Alright, uh... I'm not really sure what to do now, then. I mean, I guess we go... back to Abaddon and come back down underground and uh, either pursue that way or go west. So I, I guess that's the thing to do. Um, no, first things first, let's go to Claxton. DD down as far as we can. And it's probably going to be the last one. I don't think we'll have enough. Yeah, too tired. Or not skilled, whatever it prefers, I suppose. Whack these back on for next turn. Alright. Feels dangerous running about in... Oh, this is Teal's main town is their capital, at least. Good to know. Not really sure what to do with, uh, with Tamika now. Tamika. I mean, she can come home, I guess, but there's nothing she can really do. We've got Straker once again. I'm actually going to pick Straker up. I just sit him in town. Um, reason being that at least if I buy Straker, then I can't keep getting Straker every single week. So yeah, we'll end the turn there. Let's see where this teal hero goes. Hopefully up towards Vidamina. No, he's fleeing. Right. Well, we've got pink up here at least, though. So we are starting to see a few more AI. days. We've got him at least. Wow, that's a lot of skeletons. Lost. Ah, implode. Nice. At least we know they've got implosion, so that should make the uh, end game a little bit more interesting. Should have equipped my uh, what do we call it? Um, skeleton boots, dead man's boots. Hey, he fled. It's fine though. I should get a decent number of skellies off that anyway. Yeah, 195. It's almost as much as I lost. Fruit Sultans. Pendant of Death. You never know, I might find that somewhere. Not that it'll probably be worth it, I mean, I'll, I'll end up getting gold like I always do from the Sears Hut once it's late game. I never get anything useful. Excellent. We can see that he's got both Dimension Door and Fly that he's using. Looks like he DD'd all the way back to where he just was though, which is a bit strange. Hopefully I remember to equip my Vampire's Cal. Oh. Ah, 
fine, he just fled after tactics. No problem then. More attack, as always. Not sure why they just left a box here. Presumably because the AI can tell what it contains. Not sure. Another taupe here. They've probably taken that one though. I was going to say this has been partially cleared, but it looks like it's actually still untouched. Might as well sleep with Tamika. And just end the turn. We've only got two heroes that are really out and about doing anything by the nature of the, uh, the way the recording's working. Or at least the way the Heroes kind of have to be. It's cool that they've got uh, DD and stuff, but I'm not really sure why that hero is just running back and forth between the same spots. It's usually only when uh, the AI have no towns or anything left that they start doing weird stuff like that. Hmm. Okay, so this brings us back above ground. Ah, but it does bring us to Teal's area here, so it's probably worth it. Okay, Vitamina. Let's get uh, some knowledge items back on you. And where's my Thunder Helmet? There it is. Okay, and there's nothing else that was going to give me extra knowledge, I don't think. This is Spell Power. I'm probably missing something. Let me know in the comments if I am. I'm about to run out of movement, so I want to equip these again. And back on the road, but I already know where I'm going, so I should be able to just DD there next turn. Might even just take this, actually, since I'll have fly anyway. Okay, so this has been partially cleared out, but only partially. I mean, probably worth coming here with Vidamina afterwards, bearing in mind there's a Library of Enlightenment there. Yeah, no one else is going to be doing anything, so let's just leave it at that. There's not much here. We definitely don't want to lose 400 skeletons, though. here I suppose. Uh, we'll leave the Hydras because they're a non retail unit. Perfect. Right decision. So animate up these and then kill the last two Hydras. Means we get plus one defense. And oh yeah there's no uh, no artifact merchants here sadly is there? That's a shame. We'll leave the troops in case they take back uh, any of the towns, by the way. Because um, that means that uh, we'll have some more skeletons to farm if they do take back their towns. But otherwise... I... I think we do just go towards this treasure area that we found with our other hero. We've at least got a library there. Start clearing some of that out. And... 
yeah, maybe we maybe we just pursue it eastwards and see where we get to. I think that'd be a useful thing to do. Okay. Let's take spell power as always. DD in here. It's weird, I can't take any of these. Ah, got yet another uh yet another taupe. Not by a throng of dragons. Maybe we just ignore the taupe this time. I know it is tempting. We will take the taupe. We will. And hopefully Ranlu can give me an idea of what else I'm gonna discover here. Oh cool, he can actually get past there. Of course, because he's got angel wings. Alright, cool. Let's end the turn then. The AI seems even more confused than usual this particular game. Nice, cool, they've picked up those those items. That should make them a little bit stronger. We'll have to continue to leave uh, leave stuff around underground once we've uh, once we've been to it. I wonder if Pink's going to do exactly the same thing. No, this time they just literally stood still. Really weird. Okay, huge number of dragons. Again, should be a fairly fairly uh, trivial fight at this stage since we've got nearly four thousand skeletons or had, I should say. And that isn't going to animate up all of my missing ones, so if we just defend... That doesn't actually give us all of our remaining skellies either. Crap, we've made a bit of a mistake here then. Yeah, let's replay it, I don't want to lose that many. ring makes such a big difference. animate now and then defend and we should get one more animate possibility yeah I think that's right yeah that's right yeah sorry about the replay guys just I screwed that up slightly 20k XP we'll take that let's clear the taupe just for the lols will mean it's like the fifth taupe we've cleared out this uh, this episode which is cool and same tactic as always particular packs that are going to be worth taking out. Throng of Water Elementals, maybe. Horde of Ghost Dragons, but maybe only because I can get plus one attack from it, so... And... if I defend... Yep, perfect. I did actually end up losing some overall there, that's fine though. Plus one attack. Just remember to put on my dead man's boots this time. Movement boots back on, fly wings back on. Cool, so we can take the attack skill here next time and then go up and grab this library. Ok, 
Okay, so this bit's clearly been cleared out already as well. It's really interesting seeing what has and hasn't been cleared. Things, things that you'd normally expect, of course they have been, but no, not at all. And really varying packs as well, like lots of Archangels compared to a swarm of Mighty Gorgons. Um, just, you know, one's a 600 health stack. Uh, the other one is potentially like a 35,000 health stack. So, yeah, I don't really understand that. And Pink Hero really does just seem to be immobilised there. Not really sure what's happened to them. So we can actually just do it like this and take them out. Okay, XP box, that's good. Stat box, always always also good. Don't know what's here, but let's fight it anyway. Just blind DD. Pack of fairy dragons. Well, that must be a hell of a box that they're guarding. I guess we'll just mass haste. I say mass, we've only got one stack. And animate up. One final animate. Great. Didn't need to take the fight, but I'm just really curious what was. Oh, four phoenixes. So, a really nice box. Obviously, I'll immediately remove them, but it would be a really nice box. Horde of Magma Elementals, Swarm of Centaurs. We'll definitely take that out. Should give us first move next turn, yep. 200 skeletons, that's the way to do it. Throng of Nyx. We have actually got enough for DD, so let's get these items back on. DD to here. That's slow them as well. And wait. Means we should get both turns. Yep, perfect. Um, we'll pick up the hat. That's a dangerous one to just be leaving around. Randley. Let's see what you can find for us. Okay, we've got a Horde of Archmage Eye, Throng of Centaurs, Swarm of Dendroids, that's a good one to go and take. Um Yeah, Ranlu. Take yourself down here actually. I do want to see what's uh, what's south of here. Orange just going back and forth and back and forth. Hmm. My orange might go and try and take our uh, our new town down in the southwest. I think southwest. I think they are going to. So I suppose the decision here is whether it's worth actually TPing back to go and get that, or 
Uh, or to go and keep that, I suppose. I suppose I could, because I can just start going off, uh, off west from Abaddon instead. Lots of rush dragons. So maybe we'll find something down here that's worth taking, but... I don't know, maybe we just let them have that town. I'm not sure. No, do you know what? I don't think we do. I think we go and save Mudshire from certain oblivion. Even if it is potentially a waste of time. And we need to animate as soon as pos because we want to keep... Oh, Ring of Oblivion. Right, okay. Fine. So we've just lost some troops for nothing, basically. Um, Ring of Oblivion is uh, pretty annoying. Uh, how much movement are we going to have? Yeah, okay, so I think this is worth it as well. We... Oh, I forgot to actually re-equip the teapot hat after last time, so I've been running around with the wrong items on this whole time. Nice. Uh, so yeah, that's our maximum spell points. Let's equip the Undertaker's amulet again. And teapot hat. And then we will TP back to Abaddon. I suppose actually we didn't explore the bottom part of this yet, but we can do that with Randu and see if there's anything worth taking, I suppose. Uh, actually, how many DDs have I got left for the day? Enough. Right, let's do, let's do it again then. Sorry guys, this is a pretty annoying thing for me to do, but figured I might as well. Okay, and yeah, I've still got enough movement points to move back again. That's great. And we want to keep our boots of speed on for next turn, so let's TP up to a baton. And then we don't need to wait in town. Oh yeah, we've used everything. That's fine. We'll uh, we'll move two steps to the west. And I think we've probably done enough for this episode. We've, we've got pretty much 5,000 skeletons at the end of this episode, which is great. Um, I may well go back and clear out some of the griffins that are blocking off some of our other towns, but I'm not sure at this stage. But either way, uh, thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and I shall see you guys next time.